Welcome students to learn about pronouns. A pronoun is used in place of a noun. They are classified into nine different groups. Let's learn each type separately with examples. Types of personal pronouns. Subjective pronouns that play the role of a subject in a sentence. For example, I am participating in the competition with him. Here, I is a subjective pronoun. Objective pronouns that play the role of an object in a sentence. For example, I am participating in the competition with him. Here, him is the objective pronoun. I, you, he, she, it, we, they are subjective personal pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, us, them are objective personal pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are those which show possession or ownership. The table indicates different forms of possessive pronouns. Mine, ours, yours, his, hers, theirs. Students, let's make some exa examples through possessive pronouns. The house is not his but mine. The book lying there is mine and those on the table are hers. Reflexive and emphatic pronouns. When the word self is added to words like mine, your, him, her, it and the word selves to our, your, them, we get what are called compound personal pronouns. Students, let's learn about reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are when they when the action done by the subject turns back that is reflex upon the subject. Other words, subject or object of the verb is the same person. Examples I hurt myself. You will hurt yourself. He hurt himself. She hurt herself. It hurt itself. We hurt ourselves. You will hurt yourself. They hurt themselves. Let's learn about emphatic pronouns. Emphatic pronouns are used for the sake of emphasis. Let's make some sentences using emphatic pronouns. I will do it myself. I myself saw him do it. She herself says so. They themselves admitted their guilt. Relative pronouns are pronouns used to join a phrase or a clause with another sentence. The words or the, or the relative pronouns whom, who refer to a person only. Examples, the ladies who attended the party were happy. The little girl was guided by the teacher whom she truly admired. The relative pronoun which is used for animal and things. Examples, the book which I gave him is lost. The deer which was killed was carried to the village. The relative pronoun whose is used for both person and things. Example, the chair whose color is blue is mine. The pen whose nib is broken cannot be used now. The relative pronoun that is used 
after person and objects after adjectives in superlative degree after words like some all any nothing none let's make some examples he is the fastest runner that we have ever heard all that she spoke was relevant to the topic the relative pronoun what is used for things example she had purchased what she wanted to buy the relative pronoun as is used after words like same or such example she is such a friend as is needed in trouble times her argument in the same is the same as yours interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns are those that ask questions the following are the examples of interrogative pronouns who is there who are you what is the matter which do you prefer tea or coffee whom do you want whose is this book the words who what which whom whose are similar to relative pronoun but the work which they do is different they are here used for asking questions therefore they are called interrogative pronouns words like whoever whatever whichever are used as compound interrogative pronouns demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjective students let's understand the difference between demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjectives pronouns are used to point out the object to which they refer and are therefore called demonstrative pronouns demonstrative adjectives are placed before the nouns and tell us more about nouns they are not used in place of nouns examples this is a present from my uncle this book is mine these are merely excuses these books are mine that is the red fort that pen is yours mumbai mangoes are better than those of bangalore those pens are yours in column a the words these these that those are used to point out the object they refer in column b these these that those are placed before the nouns book books pen pens are the nouns distributive pronouns the words either neither every each both all are examples of distributive pronouns because they refer to persons or things one at a time or in groups either means the one or the other of two examples either of these roads leads to the railway station either of you can go neither means not the one not the other of two it is a negative sentence neither of the accusations is true neither of the pens is writing each is used to denote every one of person or things taken singly for example each of the men received a reward each of you must be present on the occasion indefinite pronouns indefinite pronouns are the pronouns that refer 
to one or more unspecified bins, objects or places. You can see some examples on the screen. Now, let us make sentences using indefinite pronouns. Some are born great. Some say he is a shopper. Somebody has stolen my watch. Nobody was there to rescue the child. Few escaped unhurt. We did not see any of them again. Do good to others. Did you ask anybody to come? None of his poems are well known. Reciprocal pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns refer to pronouns that indicate actions going on in one direction and also in the opposite direction. Each other is used when two people are involved. For example, the teacher scolded Rani and Ritu since they were talking to each other. One another is used when more than two people are involved. For example, we should help one another in crisis.